This is Kia's new Sorento, available as a petrol and a diesel with either seven or six seater configurations. This is what Kia believes will take it up to the next level, appealing to SUV buyers across the country. And if you enjoy this sort of content, be sure to hit subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified every time we make a new upload. But in the meantime, this is our first look at the new Kia Sorento. Now the Sorento is a much larger vehicle than the car that it replaces, although that said, the Sorento nameplate has been away from the Malaysian market for quite some time. Now that it's back, however, it is bolder and better looking than ever before, integrating lots of new Kia design features such as the very elaborate front daytime running lights, the enlarged tiger nose grille and this rather svelte profile which is set off by the functional roof rails as well as the um, fake fender segments. Now, the noteworthy part about the Sorento is the fact that you actually get a couple of powertrain options. You can get a 2.5 litre smart stream petrol engine which produces about 177 PS mated to a six-speed automatic gearbox available as either front or all-wheel drive. Or you can get the flagship model which is available as a 2.2 litre smart stream D mated to an eight-speed dual clutch automatic gearbox which sits at the flagship variant. You also get a choice of seating options where you can either get a 7-seater in the entry-level 2.5-litre petrol or you can get a 6-seater configuration either with a petrol or diesel variant. You also get a choice between front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive where the two 6-seater variants are available exclusively as all-wheel drive. Now, one of the big changes for the Sorento is in terms of interior specifications because while a svelte and beautiful exterior is important, a very comfortable, luxurious and posh interior is equally as important. To that end, all Sorento models get a 12.3-inch digital instrument cluster mated to a 10.25-inch central infotainment screen. And on the top-end models, you even get a 12-speaker Bose audio system in order to ensure that you get the best possible sound experience inside. Now, the two top-spec models get this black leatherette interior, whereas the entry-level model gets fabric. That said, however, you do get a full expanse of space in here because, as I mentioned earlier, the Sorento is a much larger vehicle. And you get to enjoy a lot of that space in the second and third rows where you now get more legroom and headroom than before. Now the seats are set up in a concert style seating arrangement, meaning that every row sits higher than the row in front of it, ensuring that every passenger enjoys a good view out. And in this flagship six seater model, as you can see, I have a good amount of legroom and good amount of headroom. This was also achieved by the deletion of the panoramic sunroof for local models because the Kia Sorento arrives as a CKD model built in Kulim, which means that we get unique specifications that fit our market best. Now that is best expressed in terms of the advanced driver assist suite because all Kia Sorento models come with a level two semi-autonomy system as standard, which means not only do you get autonomous emergency braking, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert and lane keep assist, you also get active lane tracing, adaptive cruise control up to zero kilometers an hour, as well as blind spot collision assist where the vehicle will avoid collisions with vehicles that may sit in your blind spot that you may have not have been able to notice. All of this makes the Sorento one of the most compelling three-row SUVs currently available on the market, which it certainly has to given the price that it commands. Now, the stunning new Sorento is certainly a much more expensive vehicle than the one that it replaces with prices starting from 212,000 ringgit and rising to 256,000 ringgit for this flagship all-wheel drive turbo diesel model. That said, Burmas believes that Kia buyers are among the most discerning customers out there which means they are more than willing to put out the cash necessary to bring one of these home. And most certainly, looking at the spec list alone, we are very confident the Kia Sorento will find plenty of fans and plenty of buyers across the country. But let us know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think Burmas has priced this model accurately given 
the current consumption levels. Let us know in the comment section below. In any case, thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Take care, stay safe, and Kia Sorrento.